You're watching Theme Park Worldwide where we're here at Port Aventura World. We are. Yes, we're going to be staying on site at the Port Aventura Hotel. Charlotte's first time staying on site here. I've never even seen the hotel. Oh, well, you know what? It's got a Mediterranean vibe and it's also built right next door to Which the theme is really park. Ideal. Yeah, in fact, our room is located right next door to an exclusive entrance for hotel guests Ooh. straight into the park. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and that makes it really ideal because it means if you do want to nip back to the room during the day, you can do it and it's really not wasting any of your time time exactly. is it so yeah come and join us we'll give you a tour of our hotel here at port aventura in spain and we'll start off our tour then with a look at the exterior of hotel port aventura here and yeah you look at it and think oh it seems very small not realizing that it's actually massive it's really big yeah it's like a mediterranean town really, really nice feel to it. it is yeah of course you've got all of the uh, palm trees just around here as well plenty of parking it is free parking if you are coming here obviously we just made our way from the airport didn't film a travel vlog this time because literally it's that easy to get from reyes airport it takes about 15 minutes in a taxi and it costs about 35 to 40 euros doesn't it you can even see shambhala when you come in on the uh, runway i've hired this for us charlotte yeah, <laughs> in our dreams. But here we go, we'll take a little stroll through and see Hotel Port Aventura. Yeah, it's a four-star hotel. And yeah, it looks busy in the check-in area, but we've already checked in, we've dropped our bags off, and we'll give you a bit of a tour around. So there's a look at the reception lobby area. It's very nice in there, isn't it? Yeah, it was nice and easy to check in as well. Yeah, it was really easy. So yeah, what do you get given when you check in, Charlotte? So you get like a room key, but it's like your park ticket as well, which is quite nice. Yeah, it's really well done, isn't it, with that? Yeah, we'll show you when we head up to the room. But you've got these self-checking machines, but we didn't use these because, to be honest, um, the queue was literally next to nothing. I'd always rather speak to a person if you can do. Um, but yeah, as we make our way just out here, you'll see the main kind of part of the hotel. And also, you realise just how close we are to the park because you can just see the track there for Furious Baco, just through the archway over there. Bear in mind, it's Charlotte's first time seeing this here as well. All the palm trees. Yeah, you got this lovely area out here. Something that I've always loved about Port Aventura is the on-site accommodation. It's been years since I stayed here, so it's nice to be back. They've got entertainment just out on the stage here as well. That happens on an evening. And just on the left here, you've got a bar area. I think on a night, these windows open up. Then you've got an outdoor bar service just here as well. Yeah, you got all the lovely seating around here. And yeah, you can just see into the park there, Furious Baco. And also there are the big ships that they've got down at the entrance. You've got a little shop just here as well. Also, they've got a little cafe off to the right here as well that does croissants and all that kind of stuff, which is nice. Just want to get something for breakfast. And yeah, all the lovely planting around. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's lovely. It literally is a Mediterranean village. And over at the back there, Red Force over in Ferrari land. Now the hotel is split into two sections. You've got the section off to the right, which is where we're staying, but you've also got this section just off to the left here. So we'll take you for a little stroll down here and just show you it. Yeah, I do like how colorful it is and all the architecture of the hotel is very nice as well. So you look at this at first and think, oh, it's the swimming oh, pool. Swimming yeah, pool. it's not the pool. This is literally just like a nice bit of scenery, so to speak, for the park. Yeah, it's like you're in the Mediterranean, looking out over the water, you know, which is uh, lovely. Yeah, there is a swimming pool down here. There's two main pools. So we'll take you down and show you this one. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, you are probably better requesting to be closer to the entrance because the size of this hotel, it's, it's massive. Huge. I didn't realise it was going to be this big. <laughs> yeah, it's like two sections. So we'll show you this bit down here with the other pool and take you down to our area and also show you where the entrance is to the theme park that's exclusive for hotel guests. Hey Charlotte, looking beautiful just there. <laughs> oh, lovely. And yeah, here's the pool area just off to the left here. Really well. It is, yeah. What I like with the pool down this end, have you noticed like the dye, like the pool or the waters to make it kind of look a bit more uh, natural, which I really do like. Yeah, you've got all this pool area just down here. Lovely water feature just off to the right. And then as you can see, the pool extends down that way there as well so yeah you've got rooms all down this bottom section there's a little pool bar just down the bottom there on the left as well yeah and all of these rooms just here but yeah what makes this hotel in my opinion is the fact it's not like a big block um if you know what i mean it's got all kind of different sections to it um which makes it more quaint in my opinion like this village kind of feel that it's got to it yeah, maybe a bit of a close-up of the pool down here and show you that water feature from the other side 
It's all the planting and it smells nice as well. Mm, it's like smell pods, isn't it? Yeah, I don't even think it's smell pods. I think it's actually the natural smell of the plants. It's really yeah, that is lovely. But yeah, really, also the hotel's not very tall. Maximo, I think it's got four floors. I think that makes it as well. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's lovely theming. Yeah, and like, look at this. I mean, we've gone eight o'clock in the evening now. We've just checked in, but you're still in the pool. Obviously, the pool doesn't close early. You can go in on a night, really, you know, which is nice. Yeah, it just kind of adds to it. I'll we'll show you a little bit more of this area, and then we'll head down to the other side and towards our room for a nice little room tour for you. Yeah, here's a map of Hotel Port Aventura, so we'll show you that just over here. So that gives you a bit of an idea. Yeah, hey, Buffett del Port. So we're down here in this smaller, kind of more quaint pool area, and you've also got this small one just off to the left, and obviously all these water areas here uh, are kind of just for show off to the sides. Yeah, really, this is the bigger pool on this side. But I really like this one down at this end. Where we're staying um, is literally just over at the side here, right next door to the entrance into the parks, which is great. Get yourself a nice Spanish beer, Strada Dan just over there. Oh yes! I'm sure many of those will be consumed. Oh, yes. uh, over nice the next couple of days. And yeah, just show you the little pool area that there is down here. Yeah, all the nice big palm trees. It's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. I think we'll stroll back the other way and we'll show you the little restaurant because you've got all outdoor seating area there at Buffy Del Port. Uh, but yeah, we're just doing room only this time. We park tickets, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Um, we haven't got any food. We're just going to eat in the park. Yeah. Uh, there's a view of Red Force over there in the distance oh, as well. So big. It is huge, isn't it? There you go. Yeah, we'll stroll down this way, show you the other side. Here at Hotel Port Aventura. Lovely. Back inside the hotel lobby now, and yeah, it gives you information on the entertainment here. Mini disco throughout the evening. And yeah, you've got an entertainment board just there as well. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I think that bloke wondered what was going on. <laughs> he just showed behind you. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> mini di that's Charlotte dancing at the mini disco right there. I love that picture on the wall just there. Now, I have stayed here. It's probably been about eight years, I'd say, since I've stayed here. Maybe longer than that. It could be 10 years, actually. Which is crazy. Yeah, it's actually had a refurbishment since. And yeah, the rooms have been upgraded. So yeah, that's back out towards the plaza area. We're going to head round past the lobby here and down to the other side, which is where we're staying, and also closer to the park entrance. Oh, it's great to hear the music playing down there. Hola, 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 hola. Something that really makes Port Aventura is the music. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> That's Charlotte's attempt at Spanish just there for you all. So yeah, here's Buffy Del Port just over here. Like I say, we're not actually eating here at the hotel. We're going to be eating on park. It is nice. I have actually ate at the buffet. It came on a two-week package holiday many years ago with my parents. And uh, yeah, also stayed there. And then came back with a friend and stayed here as well. But it's lovely. Very nice evening. I love all the plant pots around. It really makes it, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, you've got the waterway. You've got like, the little corridors that kind of run over the water yeah, there. It is, there's also theme music playing throughout, which is nice. Obviously that does go off like later on. You're not kind of in your room at night thinking, oh God, I'm until it's to all the music. But this view here is lovely. So that other swimming pool is just at the top section up there, but we'll head around that way shortly and show you that. Yeah, here's Buffy Del Port just here. Just off to the right, that's the restaurant. Just inside there. And what really makes this is how you've also got all of the outdoor dining just here as well all the way around here, which is lovely. It's just got a really nice ambience all about it. Now, when we say this hotel is very close to the park, literally, that is the entrance to Port Aventura Park right there. And Ferrari land, you head through that way and go to the left. Literally, that is how close you are, Charlotte. Uh, it's great. Like, obviously, you've got quite a few on-site hotels here at Port Aventura, El Paso, Caribe, Gold River. Um, but yeah, this one is literally the closest. Obviously, Gold River as well has got a direct turnstile and going into the park like this. However, it's not at the main entrance. It takes you into far west, whereas this one obviously is down here at the main entrance. But yeah, literally, our room, just up there on the left, walk along the corridor, down some steps, and you are straight into the theme park, um, which is cool. But yeah, just before we head around that way, just going to show you this swimming pool up here and then we'll take you for one of our fabulous room tours. 
It's really nice to be staying on site this time here at Port Aventura World. It's been many years since I've stayed on site and it really does add to it. Obviously a lot of the time we always like to show you budget accommodation here and show you how cheap you can do things. Obviously it's not cheap staying here at Port Aventura Hotel but you know what every so often it's nice to treat yourself and get for something a bit more lavish and yeah this really is a lovely hotel. Like I say it's not the cheapest. Um, it's cost about 900 euros for three nights for four people because we're sharing with a couple of friends of ours as well who are also here but that does also include park admission all the way through including one day's access to Ferrari land as well yeah and the buildings are lovely on this side again looking out to Buffet del Port over there beautiful talking of beautiful oh, there she is yeah, I like this little pier area just here that you've got all the fishing nets around the side you're not going to need the fisherman coat I don't think though no. Not in this heat. We've got highs of about 27 degrees Sweating. Celsius. So yeah. And here's the other pool area. Just at the top here. Yeah, I just thought we'd show you that. Around here, which is lovely. Yeah, another nice swimming pool. Got all the music on around here as well. Plenty of sunbeds, which is good. Yeah, and there's also a jacuzzi just up here as well. Right in the middle there. Nice little hot tub, which is always nice. Oh, look at this little bird. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, swimming pool just here. Jacuzzi around there. And more views of the hotel. But uh, anyway, should we go and head up to our room? Yes. We'll show you a standard room here as well. Yep. And uh, yeah, literally, like I said, we're located. We get this view. We're staying just over there, which means we get this lovely view from the room. Obviously, there's lots of different rooms available. You can get balconies. And yeah, we've not really got a proper balcony in our room. Obviously, they're kind of paid extra. Um, yeah, what we've got is lovely because obviously the door still opens up. So we'll take you up there and show you our room. Here we go. Just making our way now to the room. And yeah, there's the water just throughout the hotel off to the left and off to the right here is the theme park. Yeah, literally, that is the park entrance. It's just sweeping up, end of the night just there. I think it's going to be very busy, but the beauty of staying on site yeah. is we'll probably just come back and enjoy the pool and stuff. Yeah, definitely. We're yeah. going for a more relaxing trip with this one. You know, that's the, the kind of plan with it. We're going to be filming a couple of vlogs on the park though, so stay tuned for those. And yeah, I've got to say the corridors look really different to last time I was here. Remember, they used to be a lot more blue, whereas now they're kind of brown, as you can see, with the cream walls just around there. And yeah, we're going to head down to our room, and we will, uh, yeah, show you a little bit of a tour when we get to it, just down this way. But yeah, it's lovely with all of the uh, nice carpets throughout, and kind of, we're not on the, we're kind of on the first floor, really, you know, we're not down on ground floor, because um, you've got them steps just to get round to where we're staying. Here we go. Anybody in? Hey, 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 Hotel Port Aventura. There we go. Oh, I love the picture just on the side there as well. Got a nice yacht just over there. Right then, Charlotte, start off with the tour with the wardrobes over yeah, here. We so got. we've got loads of storage in here. So we have got loads of storage there. Safe as well good. on the left. Safety deposit box. Then we've got a huge wardrobe, loads of hangers in there for your as well. Yeah, it's a nice big uh, area, isn't yeah, it? Which, which is, is good. Quite good. Fantastic. So yeah, it's one of them rooms where you put your uh, key card in to activate the power in here as well. Got some more storage here as well. It's got a hand on but it doesn't know. So well, that's really weird, yeah, isn't it? No. That's strange. It has the theme park all wide editing suite yeah. in there. Yeah, you can put your cases and stuff on there. Obviously a nice picture just there too. Two nice big beds. There we go. Hey, we like I said, we're staying with a couple of friends. So they're in that one. They're not Charlotte's pajamas just there, are they? Minnie Mouse. Yeah. We have beds. What are they like comfort wise? Really comfortable, really soft. That's it, giving a bit of a bounce there, which is good. <laughs> and of course, you've got the little pointless bits that I always say, the bits that you take off and don't use. Yeah. All them pillars on there, you know, all the fancy stuff. You know, oh, it's four star. Yeah, you get all the fancy yeah. stuff, the pillows, you know. Uh, and then, yeah, literally you chuck them off, don't you, in the night, these ones. Uh, this is nice at the back. Like I say, the rooms have been refurbished since last time I was here. And yeah, I do like at the back how you've got the pictures and kind of the tiles on there as well. Yeah, to fit with the Mediterranean theme. Ooh. What you got just behind you there, a little phone, yeah. um, storage down there, there as well. There's also USB chargers as well. And a mirror just there in the middle. Hello. I do like the USB chargers. Now, plugs wise, there's not loads because you've got amazing. one plug over there. Obviously, I'll bring a double adapter. Um, and we, there is a plug at the back, but we actually had to move this out a little bit yeah, to get it. it. Um, so yeah, plugs wise, there's not actually not loads. loads here, is there, you know, when it comes to your plug sockets. Nice view. This is lovely. So yeah, we've not got a, an actual proper balcony, but as you can see, you've got this seating area. And looking out just here as well, you get the awesome view. See, so yeah, I'll show you at the top. Obviously the swimming pool's just off to the right there. Park entrance down to the left. 
And there's a look at Buffet Dal Port, just over there as well. And yeah, you can just see the swimming pool just off to the side there, which is lovely. But yeah, I do like how you've got this. And obviously, you know, you can get the air coming in. You can just sit there as well, which is nice. And talking of air, full air conditioning unit just up there as well, control. Yeah, obviously with the being four of us staying in it, like, you know, it's ideal, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, when you've got four adults in a room. Some more nice pictures there as well. Little chair. These are like the from Ikea, which is quite nice. Like the little tripod uh, lights. Oh, see, I love having a fridge. Oh, the light comes on when you open it up. Do you like having a fridge? Very good. Yeah, a little lamp on there. Got drawers in there too. Desk area with a seat and then a nice big TV there. So yeah, Charlotte tried moving these here just, I didn't did, you? Stuck yeah. <laughs> Literally glued down. Stop you stealing them, Charlotte. Oh, so people like you, you see, you're gonna move them about and drop them and smash them. Well, yeah, that's the uh, the main room just here. Yeah, very fancy. We'll have a look in the bathroom. And around this way. Got a nice big bath. I love a bath. We love a bath. There you go. Look at that beauty. That's, that's huge. That's nice, that is. Yeah, I reckon we'll uh, yeah, be able to lay down fully in there, which it's is nice. Really big bath. Little Duff. fancy bits, there you go, Dove, Port Aventura Hotels, there you go, it's got their branding on. Towels up there as well. Oh, that's it, you got, you got, there's a bin down there. And you got like a main power shower, oh, wow. and a little shower at the left there as well. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Huge. Lavatory just down there, no B-Day, just over here. Oh. You know, even though we're in Spain, you don't get a B-Day. Look, yeah, I've got the nice Port Aventura Hotels cups. Oh, get them out, that's it. That's it. Oh, Whoa. they're nice. They are branded. Sink area is nice. I like how it's separate um, instead of being built in. You know, I quite like that, which is uh, pretty cool. You get a hairdryer too. Hairdryer in, and obviously, you know, you get all your mod cons kind of a standard. It's nice. I have the hairdryer, the fridge, free parking, Wi-Fi, and also as well, you've got like a health club here as well with a gym uh, that you get access to when you're staying here but yeah here's our room it's also got the proper blackout curtains which you know it annoys me sometimes when places don't have curtains that block out the light you need it in spain like proper blackout curtains which uh, really yeah dark. makes it uh, really dark but no, it's lovely a yeah, really nice room pretty spacious considering there's four of us in as well beds comfy and uh, yeah it's nice and modern great location with a fantastic view as well Lovely, what more could you want? Port Aventura Hotel, absolutely lovely. Well, there we go. Hope you've enjoyed our tour around the Port Aventura Hotel. No fault to me, I think it's lovely. I think it's really nice, yeah. Yeah, I do like the style of it as well, and the fact that it's not just one big hotel block. It is like this Mediterranean kind of fishing village. And if you've been to the park before, you'll see that kind of when you walk in. I mean, you've never seen the hotel before. No, I've not. It fits with the entrance, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's built just literally behind here. You know, you walk around, you've got like the shops at the entrance, Furious Baco. It fits with that Mediterranean style. And that's something that I love about this hotel and also Gold River that's built behind Far West. They're actually a part of the themed area of the park. Which is really nice. So you feel like you're really immersed and staying in that area, which is something that I love, and I'd love to see more parks do that um, in the future. You don't really even get that at Europa Park, even though the hotels there are spectacular, and probably my favourite theme park hotels. They're not like themed to the park and right next door to that no, area. Not, no. Whereas here, I think that really adds to it, which I it really like. It. Having the direct access is good. Now, in terms of getting down to Salou, now obviously Salou's a popular place for the nightlife, the beaches. It's probably about a 20 five minute walk from here down into Salou. So bear that in mind, this hotel has got a massive long driveway from the main road. So if you are walking into Salou, it will take you about 25 minutes. Yes. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's a fantastic place to stay. I definitely recommend it. And uh, looking forward to getting back on the parks I tomorrow. So we're gonna be filming a couple of different vlogs, obviously inside Port Aventura Park and Ferrari Land as well. Kind of mixing between the both. Uh, when you stay here, like I say, you get unlimited access to the parks, which is great. Which is really good. And with Ferrari Land, you get your one visit and you don't need to book it or anything like that. Um, literally, you just scan your room key, which is your park admission, and that lets you in to the parks, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back on Shammy B. Woo! 10 years of Shambhala this year. Can't wait. And last time we were here, 2017, it was the opening of Red Force, it wasn't was, it? It was, yeah. That opening day of Ferrari Land. So you've not been back since. It's been five years. And you've never stayed on site. No. I haven't for a long time. And uh, it's going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to be busy. It's going to be hot. But like I say, this trip isn't really about packing in loads of rides. It was more about coming away for a nice weekend with our friends exactly. and just enjoying it soaking yeah. it up so there we go we'll see you on the park tomorrow and from hotel port aventura that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep on riding see you tomorrow shammy